So most pro welders stack dimes. We out here stacking blobs. Hello and welcome to 2021. Give yourselves a pat on the back for making it this far. But that is it guys. We are back on our regularly scheduled programming. In fact, we are escalating aggression as I implore you all to do the same. Now what I mean by that, I mean getting out of your comfort zone, going above your expectations, doing better than your best, guys, really. Just try it out, see what happens. And we're doing a little bit of that, guys, because behind me, you probably can't see it that well, but we have a welder. It's not new or anything. Uh, it's been sitting in the garage for quite a while, and, and I wanted to try it out because I think I can incorporate that with the truck build and with this channel. So we brought it out, it's dusty, and we actually just came back from my favorite hardware store. You can't even see it. We got a welding table from Harbor Freight, starting the year off with something I know absolutely nothing about. So what we have dug out of storage is a Lincoln Electric Pro MIG 140. It's not the 180, but it's not a 125 either, so it's a, it's a nice in-between. It is a 110, it's not 220, so you can't go too heavy duty on this. This thing is pretty ancient and outdated, uh, so there is a much newer version that I think is going at 600 bucks last I checked but this this thing is fine with me it works and it didn't cost me a dollar so I'm cool with it so what we have purchased from Harbor Freight is an adjustable steel welding table by that company now this thing came in at a very attractive price and had some pretty good features and worked for the space in my garage because uh, as you can see, folds flat for easy storage. This thing can tilt. It's got slots for clamps. So, seemed pretty good and it had some decent reviews. So I figured I'd try it out because I can't wait that long guys. I wanna weld! So originally I wanted to fab up my own welding table. It seemed like a great first project to attempt. You know, it's a table, shouldn't be too hard. But the past week that I've been trying to go to purchased metal from the only supplier that I know, they've been closed. I couldn't wait that long guys, so I went ahead and I just purchased one because, well really it was just the price that drove it home for me guys. So let's go ahead and open it up and assemble this thing. The welding table has been assembled and you can tell already just how little room this thing requires. Perfect for welding smaller bits together. Now you can loosen up this right here and on the opposite end, and you're able to tilt the surface to five different positions, and it is foldable. You do have the option to raise or drop these little walls on the side to help you out. Now dimensions for this table are coming in at 30 inches by 20. Not bad. It takes up minimal space. As for the height, you are looking at eh, 32 and a half. Right around there for the height. A smart move would be to purchase another table to extend this sucker just in case you need a bit more. But that could be later on the line or we may as well upgrade to a much bigger welding table. This will do, pretty good starter. Coming in at 70 bucks. Picked up at the local Harbor Freight. And whenever I don't want to weld and want that space back, I just fold that sucker up and throw it in the corner. Good to go. All right, so we just went out to go buy another piece of plain old steel. And I'm going to attempt to try to get these two pieces joined. Now we have this magnet that I also bought too, which is going to help us a lot. And have the ground to the table. to uh, increase the wire feed speed because 
kind of slows up a bit. It's, it's a very dirty weld. But I assure you, when you clean all this up, you know, you give this a nice the old spit and shine. There's a good weld underneath there. There's a good one underneath there. Somewhere there, there's a good weld. But anywho, we're going to keep uh, messing around with the dials to see what works with uh, plain steel. Pretty much test and tune here. So here's my most recent one, and it's not much, but it's not much. I just need to improve on consistency, travel speed, my distance, uh, pretty much all aspects when it comes to welding. Going back to the table, so far, I really enjoy this thing. It's very easy to use, very compact, perfect for welding up smaller bits as opposed to having a giant table. You're able to raise and lower these guide walls on this side, this side, and as well over here. If you want, you can put one up, or you can put them all down just so you can center off your piece maybe. Pretty cool table, guys. Very happy. Just need to wait till we get some more greenbacks so we can pick up a welding cart for this this little toy. Here we go. Just finished scrubbing some of this and well there's some good welds in there some not so good. The ones on the flat surface though alright passable I suppose. I'm pretty pleased with that one right there. Everything else looks like a jumbled up mess. So as you all can tell, my welds are not 100% on point, but we'll improve on that, no problem. The main thing we have coming up, guys, is we are creating a custom ladder rack for the F-150 work truck. I think it'd be an excellent challenge for a beginner. We just need to up our equipment a little bit more. That's a little bit later on, guys. We, right now, we kind of need to focus on our welding ability and up that skill up because I don't want a ladder rack that uh, completely falls over when you stack up a few 2x4s, guys. That would, that would be bad. Focus on our welding, one at a time, guys. Baby steps here. When we have the ladder rack done for the work truck, I'm gonna do a custom one for my truck, and it's gonna be a little bit different, guys. So be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment, follow me on Instagram. All this info will be down below. Hope you all enjoy this year coming up. Make sure you take on something new. Don't let it be a part two of last year. With that said, I will catch you all later. Peace and take care. One last chance to redeem myself, folks. Look at that one. A little bit better. Look at those. Now at least they're starting to look like proper welds. Sort of.